Boom, all right, lights, camera, action. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Baracha, Kodash. Peace and blessings to the whole family elect that listen and learn in the Akim, Wa'ak, Wa'thiyam, and double honor to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. That's for teaching us the truth. Much respect to the mighty Gabarim out there on the highways and hedges, bringing Yashua to the marriage and to the Gabarim making these videos of edification the way that the Lord sheep. And salutations to the whole family that's got the board that be unto the speckled bird. Okay, again, I have with me the mighty brother that's out there in the highways and byways, man, filled with the spirit, doing this work day in and day out. All right, Abadia, make sure you watch the brother. His channel is Yahawah Yahweh Shai Abad Cha. Okay, that's C H A A and Yahawah Yahweh Shai Abad Za. Okay, those are his two channels. So today we're gonna get into as as basically as the uh the topic says man the prophets have piped but Shalom. he have not danced shalawam to hopeful elect lady of yahweh shalawam wa baraka thumb and shalawam to zayan na daughter of jerusalem shalawam wa baraka thumb okay so yeah man the prophets on the highways and byways man okay day in and day out prophesying the downfall of babylon and also prophesying what the, 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 the termination of the rebellious two thirds, okay? Bringing forth prophecy to the forefront, man. Right. Saying, repent, okay? Repent and come back to the Lord and seek it 10 times four and calling him while he is near, okay? But hey, even the times, even back in the ancient times, man, well, a two third, two thirds of Israel who were rebellious, they would not hear the word of the Lord, okay? So I'm gonna go into the book of Ezekiel. And I'm gonna cover two things. As a as a prophet and as an apostle, right? An apostle means to be sent forth. Okay, you have to study the scriptures. All right, you have to what eat the whole roll. That means from Old Testament apocrypha all the way to the New Testament, right? Having the full understanding of the scriptures and being be able to break down these scriptures precept upon precept upon line. Okay, and also what that two thirds. Are always going to be rebellious, okay? They're not going to hear the word of the Lord, all right? Oh, yeah. Yep. We'll start in the book of Ezekiel, so the verse one, Ezekiel three and verse one says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and the roll is what the entire wisdom of understanding, this entire Bible, okay? And go speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat this role and he said unto me son of man cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this role that i give thee then did i eat it and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness okay so obviously ezekiel didn't <laughs> literally didn't eat the bible okay this is this is symbolic for what eating this and taking this wisdom of understanding spiritually, okay, and being filled with the Rahwadash, which is the wisdom of understanding, okay? And it says, and he said unto me, son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of an hard language, now that's going to what? These other nations. That's why it tells you in what? In Matthew 10, uh, the 10th chapter, verse 5, it says, Yahweh Shai said what? He said, go not into the way of the Gentiles, man. All right? But go into what? The lost, the house of the lost sheep of Israel. Okay? Hey, uh, I wanted to um, I wanted to back you up. I wanted John, to John. Oh, yes, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. So to Yashikar. 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 Shalom. 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 Before you uh, keep going about yep. the... Um, the what they say to eat the whole roll, like we know the, the scripture is proverbial. So you know, yes. it's like you know, like how rappers say, I'm hot like fire. That's that's mm. like a proverb, you know what I'm saying? So the Lord said to eat consume the roll, that means knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. This is Revelation chapter 10, verse 10. And I took the little book mm. out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. That's what it mm -hmm. means to eat the whole roll. 
Because when you first find out you were Israelite, you were excited. Like, wait a minute, we, we descended from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Bible speaks about our captivity. The Bible speaks about us being redeemed from this. Yep. That's the sweet part. The bitter part comes in to when you have these evil spirits, like two-thirds in the heat, they're trying to come up against you. When the more, what it says, the more knowledge that, that you get. More, the more sorrow. Yeah, the more sorrowful you get. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you come to the understanding, now you want to isolate yourself, which means what? You become holy. You separate mm -hmm. yourself with things like that. Then people start to look at you differently. Like they say, you don't, you don't run with us with rioting and banqueting anymore. You don't no. do this anymore. You change. You're not the same person. You're right. Because the old man is dead. That's why. So that's what it means to consume to consume and eat that role. You become a different person because you, be, you, you become born again. This Beautiful. is Revelation 10 and 11. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many people, <laughs> nations, and tongues, and kings. So mm -hmm. the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is always based in what? Prophecy. Prophecy. Right? Consuming this role, meaning that you're talking about prophecy. Because the Lord always sent the prophets before he sent his judgments. That's mm -hmm. what makes up a just God. All right? And, um, and real quick, just to prove that it's talking about knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, this is um, Ecclesiasticus, or the Book of Sirach and the Apocrypha, 15 and 3 with Beautiful. the bread of understanding shall she mm -hmm. feed him and give him the water of wisdom to drink all right beautiful you got it out. that's eating the entire road man eating yep. to, like the brother said man that's the balance of the lord too man all right consuming it and it's sweet on your mouth but guess what bigger in the stomach because you understand right. now man <laughs> you know you see everything for what it is okay and as they say in real time <laughs> right, hey, 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 and all these plantation Christians, all they want is the sweet, oh, they the honey. They don't want that. And listen, they don't want to eat that bitter herb like you got to do in the Passover. They don't want to eat the bitter herb. They don't want the. Nah, they, don't, they don't want those bitter herbs, man. They're like, they oh, boy, no, we can't, can't do that, man. Right, we right. can't do that, man. <laughs> yeah, nah. So back to it, uh, Ezekiel three and five, and it says, "For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech." And of in hard language, but to what? To the house of Israel. Okay. Not to many people of a strange speech and of a hard language whose words thou can, canst understand. Surely, had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. So let's stop there, man. <laughs> yeah, I was saying, listen, man. Okay. If I would have sent you to a, a different nation, a Gentile or heathen nation, they will accept what you have to say more than your own people, man. Okay? That's saying something about the rebellious two-thirds, man. Come on, man. Check this out. Verse 7 says, But the house of Israel would not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me, for all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. Okay? stiff neck. All right? Moses, listen, man. Even, even when Moses led the Israelites... Out of Egypt, the Israelites saw what? All these wonders and miracles, man. Their enemies being put to death, okay? When they were hungry, Yahweh Shemashah sent them that manna, all right? Yahweh Shah was in that cloud, man, by day and in what? In, in a pillar of fire at night. What? Right. Guiding them through, man, okay? So when Moses when Moses went up to get all the Lord's statutes and commandments, all right? To speak, to, to, to speak with the Lord, okay? To give Israel... These commandments that set them holy above all, you know, from all nations, regard seven to six. When he came down, what did they do? They built the calf. Okay. Even, even in the times when they were journeying, they lost trust in Moses and ultimately they lost trust in the Lord, man. It's like, hey, Moses, did you bring us out here to, to die of thirst, man? You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we listen, two thirds will always be rebellious, man. That's just how it is. Okay. But guess what? They're going to be judged for that, man. Hey, if, and I may, see the if I may say real quick, the two thirds yep. were the, the two thirds today are the same ones that was coming out of Egypt, you know, during any yep. times of antiquity. Because as we tell a lot of people today, once again, spiritually in Sodom and Egypt, mm -hmm. who do they trust? They trust in Pharaoh more than they trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You know, so like I, like I like to say, modern day conveniences has spoiled people and it yep. has made them forget. You know mm -hmm. just how 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 dire it is that you have to. I want to say struggle, but through much tribulation shall you go to the king. Shall you shall you enter the kingdom of heaven, right? So our people, when we tell them this is what's going to happen, this is what you need to do. 
they don't want to fathom that because that means that you're going to have to take yourself out of this world when yep. they trust in this world. That you know, mm -hmm. they, they want the Holy One of Israel to not be before them, to be away from them. That's why when they say we um, stiff net, it's no different than when your grandma or you know your elders say, "Well, you hard headed." It's exactly. like they don't want to change. You know, go ahead. Uh. <laughs> they don't want to change. Uh. Yeah. They don't want. They don't want. They don't want to change, man. Okay, right. why? Because they like the smooth words. They like the, the, the soft sayings, all right? Because got to remember, man, two-thirds, man, were never even ordained from the beginning to what? To be to be, uh, 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 to be be refined, man, okay? They're not, they're not prepared to be refined through fire, man. Like the scriptures say, if thou faintest in the day of adversity, that strength is small. It says that in the book of Proverbs, man, all right? And being in the land of our captivities, you know, understanding the truth, because you got to remember, it says that what? That we shall remember ourselves in the land of captivities, Baruch 2 and 30. So that means what? All of Israel. Okay? So understanding what? That the truth is not only sweet as honey, but also bitter. You know, they're, they're not equipped for that, man. Okay? Right. And they'd rather what? Get their, get their behinds beat by Esau and Edom in this decayed world, man. Then seek the truth, man. That's That's beautiful. And that's the hey, that's the hey, Stockholm syndrome been started yeah. back during the time doing back then, yeah. Wait mm -hmm. a minute, yeah. Yep, this is yep. that's the spirit, too. This is Isaiah, this is Isaiah, the first chapter, and I'm gonna start at um, I started verse two, and it says, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord Yahweh has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox know of this owner. In the ass, his master's crib. Now let's stop there. These are animals that's considered to be what? Dumb animals. Okay. But it's saying here. Get pre -sub, get pre -sub. It's saying here that what? The ox know of this owner and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. Okay. Uh, a, uh, a sinful nation. A people laden with iniquity. Seed of evildoers. Children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone backwards. Why is that? Because they left the old paths, the good ways. Okay. They, they took on different philosophies of the heathen, man. All right. Homosexuality. Okay. Ped, uh, uh, pedophilia. Incest. All right. Worshiping what? False idols, man. Other gods. Okay. Which moved the Lord to anger. Verse 5 says, why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart is faint, man. If I, if I may say real quick, that's why the Lord said, but when they say, why must you be stricken anymore? Mm -hmm. That's like a child constantly being beaten. And the more that child's beaten, the more that child's rebellious. To the point where it... Yeah, to the point where the parents are like, I'm gonna send you to that show scared straight. Yeah, straight. That's kind of oh, what it's man. like. So the yeah. Lord put us in what? Slavery. The Lord mm -hmm. said, Oh, you don't want oh, you don't want to hearken. Okay, I'm gonna send the violence of the nations, even your own brother against you, to show you how disdain I am with you. But I will not uh, I will not forsake you forever. Yeah. You get what I'm you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's what happened with a nation with a nation of Israel. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that hey man, that shows the Lord's mercy, man. Yeah. Okay, that shows the Lord's mercy and love for his people, man. Okay, how, listen, man, how can you not how can you not listen to a a, 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 a God, man, that continuously sent continuously show his mercy, man, through his prophets, his power okay. too, through his power, it, the, the, the signs and wonders, the miracles, man. I mean, come on. come on, it's in your face, it's in your face, bro. <laughs> I mean, did not, did not, did not Jeremiah say, be not this dismayed at the signs of heaven, heaven. Like the heathen would. Yep. But once again, you go to them once, they don't want to listen. You go to them with more than with two or three more witnesses, they don't want to listen. Bring them before yep. the congregation, they don't want to listen. But guess what? Toss them out as a public in the way heathen. So guess what? They are just made at the signs because they want to be heathens. So exactly. So exactly. Heathen? Exactly. Yeah. Brother put Yash, uh, Yashikar Yasha Allah. This yeah, is Ezekiel, Ezekiel 12 and 2. It says, Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house. Which have eyes to see and see not, they have ears to hear and hear not, for they are rebellious house, man. Okay, that's all that. Hey, that's all to it, man. They work. Listen, and that's that, and that's beautiful too. Because what did Yahweh say? He said, "Blessed are your eyes 
that uh, that they, they can see, man. Okay. So I got you. Yep. Yeah. If you could get that for me, I, I got you. so we our eyes are open. Okay. The veil is lifted from our eyes, man. We see Esau Edom for the devil that he is. Okay. We and guess what, man? We see the truth through the through the scriptures, man. All right. But two thirds. They refuse, man. They're a rebellious house. They will not hear the words of the prophets, man. They will even tell them, listen, we don't even want you to preach in the name of Yahweh Shai. We right. don't want to hear that. Okay? Because when, when we listen to Yahweh Shai, that means what? We have to correct ourselves, man. What does scripture say in the book of Sirach? It says, a sinful man would not be reproved, yet will make what? Excuse according to his own will. Okay? Manat the Zagba put out a video i think it was yesterday where this freaking dude was like john 3 16 says the lord died for our sins so we can sleep with with transformers man come on man yeah that was off yeah that that, 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 that was off and totally totally foolish man and, and, and see that's the thing though it's like they want to pick and choose what what they quote unquote think will benefit them mm -hmm. to do evil how are you going to use righteousness <laughs> to do evil Oh man, that's, that's, that's like that's like putting a positive and a negative magnet to, trying to put them together, and all you're gonna do is a, it's gonna be a constant force. Oh, yep, it's gonna be a constant contention, mm -hmm. and that's what you're doing. And, 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 and you know what it said? That's that's so beautiful in the scripture where it says, "You preach Yahweh for contention and strife." Yep. So you're trying to use the righteousness of the scriptures mm -hmm. to validate your wickedness. Yep, and that's not even what it's talking about <laughs> because. I mean, it's, <laughs> I mean, it, it it don't make sense because even in the same book in John, the one the the, the rich man, the wealthy man said, "What should I do to get eternal life?" Mm -hmm. Yahweh tried to clearly start speaking about what modern day Christians consider to be the Ten Commandments. So how was the law done away with then? It just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> All right, whatever. But hey, I got that Matthew for you, man. Nah, no, God, beautiful. Matthew thirteen and fifteen. For this people's heart is wax gross, mm -hmm. and their ears are dull of hearing. In their eyes they have closed, least at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, it should understand with their heart, it should be converted, which means bring over to the truth. Uh -huh. And they should heal them. Yep. Heal them. That goes back to when they said, Why does your master sit with publicans and sinners? Yes. Yeah. They said, because we need a physician. Why? Because we need to be healed. Mm -hmm. Let me get to the point you want to know. Gotcha. Verse 16. But blessed are your eyes for yes. they see and your ears for they hear. And that goes back to when Yahweh said, My sheep hear my voice. My and so they you go to John, if I'm not mistaken, the, no, Matthew 20. No, it's John 25, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sorry, it's Matthew 25. No, 26. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's Where it says, um, the Lord, the angel the Lord shall separate the sheep from the goat. That's a prime example, right? There. Okay, yeah, con, 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 yeah. Okay, you got it. The sheep from the goat, exactly, man. Going, going into that sifting, man. See, that the angels are sifting, man. This is why there's a sifting within Israel, okay? Because why? Listen, the two thirds are being sifted out. All right, the the, the false, the false prophets, okay? Who was telling what? Who was leading Israel astray into that ditch, man? Okay, mm -hmm. not even, not even. <laughs> come on, man. Blinds of the blind, man. All right, all these other, all these other camps, man. But then they would then they but listen ah right, but then they but then, know, they, right. <laughs> but then they, they look at us like yo why 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 you don't want to why you don't want to join us man all of israel is supposed to be together well how can two walk together lest they be agreed man right you, right come on the scriptures say that we have to speak the same thing man okay we have to speak the same thing that means revelation i mean revelations that means uh prophecies and everything have to be what lined up according to the scriptures man Okay, speaking one voice, man, through Yahweh Shah, which is the spirit of prophecy. Okay, so if you preach in some other way with doctrine, man, nah, man, we ain't getting with that. Okay, we ain't getting with that, man. And because of that, two thirds have become what uh, a bunch of degenerates, ah, uh? bunch of degenerates, oh, yeah. man. Degenerates, the, Lord said, man. the Lord said, I have planted thee a noble vine, but you are to me as a degenerate plant. Whoo, that, that's and, what. And what, the, and what degenerated us, the Lord even said, the Lord said, I have polluted my inheritance. Yep. How has the Lord, I speak as a man, how has the Lord polluted his inheritance? By, by mm -hmm. giving the earth to the hands of the wicked and uh -huh. then giving us into their hands. 
Think about it. When the Lord told Jeremiah in the 17th chapter, the fourth verse, where he said, Thou, even thyself shall discontinue from my heritage, our heritage is holy. Yep. So if we stop, if we stop trekking on the path of holiness, then what's the opposite of that? Wickedness. Wickedness, man. So, Wickedness. so as of right now, we was taught the Elder Pascal Bar said it. We had to go through wickedness so that we can appreciate righteousness. righteousness. Beautiful. Exactly. Beautiful, and I in got. Other words, in yep. other words, it's like it's like it. In other no, words, it's like you would appreciate something more if you had to go out and earn it. Mm -hmm. Um, other than rather than someone had given it to you. Exactly. Right. So, yep. like, what we're doing is yes, we we've been given the necessary tools by the Rabbi Hakodas for us to maneuver and to get through this tribulation. Mm -hmm. But when we get to the end, it's going to be much more honorable to have our heads crowned by Yahweh Shai. Knowing mm -hmm. that we went through the tri uh, on the tribulations, not for his sake, and then while, as we're glorifying them, we yep. shall be glorified with them. Oof. Guys, right now, remember yep. what the scripture says: humility comes before what up? Uh, comes comes for um honor, honor, man. Exactly. Humility for honor, man. And that, yeah. And, yeah, man. Because listen, we have to be humiliated, man. Okay, it tells you in the book of Genesis what we were. We were listen, man. We we were high higher stature. OK, but we descend like the scriptures say, man, you know, ye are gods and children of the most high. But you should what? Die like the princess, man. Yeah. OK, so we have to learn humility, man. We have to be humbled before we can be exalted, man. OK, and two thirds, you know, they don't want to be they don't want to be humble. They 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 what? They come against the Lord and, 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 and are full of pride even to this day, man. OK, but that's the spirit. I, I'm going to hit you up on that Jeremiah, too, man. You got it. That's beautiful. This is Jeremiah 2. And let's start it off. <laughs> That's beautiful, <laughs> man. Let's start at verse 20, man, because we, we talked about what? Since the days are old, man. Since the days of, of Moses bringing these two-third rebellious, wicked, weak Israelites out of the land of oh, Egypt, wicked, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jeremiah 2 and verse 20. It says, For of old time have I broken thy yoke and mm -hmm. burst thy bands. And thou saidest, I will not transgress. So yes, Lord, I promise, Lord, we ain't going to sin no more. I promise. If you just bring us out of this captivity, we're going to be good. All right. right. <laughs> and it says, when upon every high hill and under every green tree, thou wanderest playing the harlot. Yet I had planted thee a noble vine, holy, a right seed. How then art thou turned into a degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me. So you how about you saying, listen, man, I don't even recognize you anymore, man. I planted you to be a holy people. I gave you prophets. I gave you the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay. I said, listen, if you obey the law of the Lord, wherever you go, you shall prosper. How be it that I gave you all these things, but yet, guess what? You went backwards. Okay. You rebelled against me continuously after I placed your butts in multiple captivities, man. This oh, captivity being the worst. Because why? Because we were cut off from our inheritance, man. We had to relearn it all over again. Okay? Through our backs. Like like you brought out earlier, huh? you said, less strikes on the back. We had to go through whippings, <laughs> man. Whippings and lynchings, man. Okay? To understand who we are and what we're placed here to do. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. So... Where, uh, I'm going to read verse 20, uh, 20, 22. It says, For though thou wash thee with nitri and take thee much soap, yet thine iniquity is marked before me, saith the Lord Yahweh, man. Okay? Hey, they they, they worship what? What, what? what do Yahweh Shai say? With their lips, they do worship me, but their hearts are far from me, man. Yeah, okay? they honor me with their lips, but their, heart, yeah, their hearts, hearts are, are far, far from me, right? And their hearts mean in their mind, all right? I get that you want. I get exactly. that. Exactly. You want me to get that? Con, con, I. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. You get that for me, Bubba Gashaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, man. So you got right. two thirds of these Christian churches, man. This is Mark chapter 7, mm -hmm. verse 6. He answered and said unto yeah. them, no. Well, have Isaiah or Isaiah prophesied unto you hypocrites, mm. as it is written, This people honored me with their lips, but their heart, their mind, is mm -hmm. far from me. How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching Ooh. for doctrines the commandments 
of men. Exactly. And you know what this goes back to? What? You got it. the title of the show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to you because we didn't we're not coming with our own doctrine. We're yep. coming with the doctrine of Yahweh by Shima yeah, yeah. But you're hypocrites because you quit to say this, you you're quick to do this, mm -hmm. but you won't act on it. You know what I'm saying? You just talking, and you're not yep. even talking pertaining to what the scriptures say, thus saith the Lord. Because you bring out one god dang gone. Let me not say god dang, forgive me how you bring out one precept uh -huh. and you'll talk for 20 minutes. <laughs> And it's not edifying though, it's a difference. You're not, it's not like the elders to bring out a precept and talk for like five or ten minutes. Uh -huh. They up there hooting and hollering and sweating. Like, Cut and wait. You, you, bro, you in the air-conditioned building, you sweating, you ain't even talking about nothing. Nothing, man. Yeah. Nothing, man. <laughs> and that's beautiful. That's a spirit too, man. Let's go to Jeremiah 4. I'm gonna start at verse 21. And it says, How long shall I see the standard? And hear the sound of the trumpet, man. The prophets are blowing that trumpet. How long do we have to blow the trumpet unto y'all to up to actually realize, man? Hmm. Verse 22, 4 and 22, man. A, 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 a scripture all the brothers and sisters are familiar with, okay? Those who study and those who, you know, pay attention. 4 and 22 says, for my people is foolish. They have not known me, right? The ox know of its owner, right? Okay. They are sottish children. They have not known, they, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, man. Okay? Back in those churches, jumping up and down, man. All right? They have a zeal, but not according to what? Not according to knowledge, man. Not according to the wisdom of the scriptures. All right? Two-thirds think that they know it all, but at the, at the end of the day, man, <laughs> they, they, they're being proven wrong, man. How about Shimei Shah has sent what spirits of vengeance in those churches? Okay, they popping off in these churches, man. People getting shot up in the churches, people getting robbed. Okay, exactly. and, and it's plain, ah, huh? you got the dudes like, listen, man, what who, who said the Lord said I don't deserve a Mavado watch? Okay, come <laughs> congregation poor as heck, man. But the preacher up there talking about what I need a Mavado watch, okay, I need the, the, the gator shoes. You know, so on and so forth, man. Just this plain foolishness, man. You got it up. Yeah, uh, that's spiritual too, because just a just a uh, side note, when I was dealing with my ex years ago, mm. she raised in a Christian church and all that stuff like right? that. You know, she's modest and all the other junk. Yeah. But it's like I kept telling her, like, you know, the Bible deal with prophecy, the Bible deal with things that are going to come. When you read in the Bible, it's always the Lord bringing forth judgment, judgment, mm -hmm. judgment, judgment, judgment. The law, the law, the law, sin, sin, sin. And she yep. said, well, you know, in the she said, well, you know, God wants you to be happy and live your life. So that, that that mentality that she was taught is what they're teaching in churches. Yep. But fast forward, because this was like maybe five years ago when I first told her this. Fast forward, look at where we are right now in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, and she can't refute it because at the end of the day, it's not about me. It's not about her. It's, it's it's about the say of the Lord and everything Beautiful. that we're speaking about to this day is coming to pass. Mm -hmm. Now, won't you go ask your pastor at your church about what's going on in the world and how can he tell you why it's happening via the via the scriptures? They can't and they won't because nope. if they do, they're gonna lose their five hundred one c three charter. Yep, yep, exactly, man. Once again, it, the doctors of men, the commanders of men. Doctors of men, like the brother just said, man, it's everything about thus saith the Lord, and it tells you that what in, in um Ecclesiastes uh 12 and 13, let's hear the whole conclusion of the matter. Fear the Lord and keep his commandments, but this is the, the whole thing. duty of man. That's right. the whole duty of man. Yo, brother, when it says man, they're talking about mankind because men must yep. do their part and women must do their part. Exactly. Uh-huh. Exactly. exactly, man. Exactly. The whole nation of Israel has a part to play as right. the holy people of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay? That's all to it, man. Mm. But hey, you know, two-thirds are going to rebel, man. They're going to rebel. And guess what? They're all going to be put to death from that, man. It tells you in the um the book of Acts, man. And we're seeing judgment. We're seeing judgment being brought to the forefront. Two-thirds being put to death day by day, man. This is Acts 3 in verse... Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to go down to... So at verse 22, I get the point. It says, For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you. It's what? Going into the mercy of the Lord. Okay? Do his prophets. And it says, 
uh read it again for moses truly said unto the fathers a prophet shall the prophet shall the lord your god raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you and check this out it says and it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear the prophet shall be destroyed from among the people so two-thirds who are not what dancing to this song man the prophets are out there piping man right. okay piping what this new song uh revelations uh, 14 and 3 the song that what that only 144,000 can learn man okay which is also as an example of a sifting okay because it's only going to be a small remnant that's going to understand the scriptures all right but hey as for the other two-thirds rebellious man they're gonna they, they're being put to death man okay because they will not hear the words of the prophets that Yahweh Shem Yahshua sent. You got it up. Many are called if you are chosen. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. And 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 when you were talking about that sifting process mm -hmm. earlier, that that sifting process is no different than if you if, if you if you was to type in um type in certain in the search engine, right? They mm -hmm. have something called a filter. So, oh, okay. you, so you refine your search to get it down to exactly what you're looking for. Mm. This is something the, the Lord's doing when He's sifting the house of Israel, because the Lord has the Lord created all nations. Yep. Can, um, can you get so I think it's Sirach 33 and like 10. Let me get it. Or, yep. Or, 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 or like 11. You know, where the Lord He created everyone from Adam, right? And He separated us. You know, so the Lord had a, He has nations. Then he has a nation inside of all those nations, which is Israel. Then he has the Israel of God that's inside of Israel. Then within, because that'll be the one third. And then within that one third, you will have a hundred forty-four thousand men that will be the prophets and the apostles and the teachers. So the Lord does the sifting process by refining. Now, when it says we shall be refined with fire, I always speak as a man when I say that there's two times of there's two there's two types of fire. Yep. The spirit is a fire, right? What happens when somebody give up the ghost or the spirit? Their body turns cold, okay? So with mm -hmm. that being said, you're going to have the spiritual fire, which is the refining, or you're going to get the literal fire, which is going to be the refining. Either way, all the house of Israel will be refined. Exactly. So the Lord is going to sift us by separating us because those who, those who, um, what did it say Amos on um, we shall bear those who bear the indignation of the Lord those are the one that's going to be on the right hand side when the sifting comes and then the left hand side is going to be where the ghosts are so at this moment all we're doing we're we're doing the Lord's work through the spirit mm -hmm. by by seeking the elect that's why the scripture says by the foolishness of preaching to save those who do believe right so it see it deem it looks foolish to them but the Lord is making a separation as we speak right now. Like it says in the book of Deuteronomy 32, and I think it's 9, where it said he separated the nations according to the sons of Adam. Yep. And it said he set the bounds according to the children of Israel. Israel. Exactly. Go ahead, out for your mind. So what you see, that was in Sirach, right? I think it was Sirach 33. Or Sirach 30. Let me see. I got you. No pressure. I'm with you. I don't think it's Sirach 33, though. Okay. Uh, what is it? Um. It is Sirach 33 and 10. Oh, yep, yep. Con, Sirach, it, Sirach, it, yep. Sirach. It's all right. Uh, hey, you got Sirach up at 5 in the morning. You, yep. you got up Here 5 in the morning. It's all right. It's all right. Here we go. It says, this is Sirach 33 and 10. Sirach, it, Israel. This is Sirach 33 and ten it says, and all men are formed, <clears throat> all men are from the ground, and Adam was created of earth, right? In much knowledge, the Lord hath divided them and made their ways diverse. That was so the, yep, yep. So the Lord divided everybody and yep. made our ways diverse. Yep. That's how that's how um meticulous the Lord is. Think about this, y'all. This is how meticulous the Lord is. When we was carrying the Ark of the Covenant, right? Mm -hmm. There was a point where uh I guess someone could have tripped. And like they almost dropped it. So a servant walking by, he think he doing a good deed. He oh, tried yeah. to hold it up. Yeah, That's why him touching it. The Lord took his spirit. So the mm -hmm. Lord is that serious. When yeah. the Lord told Moses to tap the rock, he got upset with Israel and smote it. The Lord said, You will not see the promised land. 
So mm -hmm. when the Lord, so when the Lord is sifting us to see who's the elect, to see who's the reject, I would like to say, there's no way of making it up. The house I said, you have not chosen me. I have chosen you. Yep. You ordained you. So you have knowledge on the left-hand side, knowledge on the right-hand side. We have the right-hand side knowledge. So mm -hmm. we're trying to bring light into the world because there's so much darkness, but they would rather stay within that darkness rather than see the light. Beautiful. Right? Yep. Keep going up. <clears throat> this is Sirach 33 and verse, <clears throat> 33 and verse 12. And it says, some of them have he blessed and exalted, and some of them he sanctified and set near himself. And set near himself. Mm -hmm. All right. Shalom, shalom. So, so when you go back to um, it's even in second edge of the fifth chapter, you have to get it. It speaks about the Lord's favorite river. Do you follow? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His, it speaks yeah, about his favorite plant. Yeah. Yeah, his favorite animal. Uh -huh. It speaks about his favorite land, and it speaks about his favorite people. Yep. And yep. Even, even even us as animals, animated creatures, mammals. Mm -hmm. Every parent has their favorite child. Right? Exactly. Everybody <laughs> got their favorite fruit. Everybody got it. So yep. why can't God have his favorite people? So I mm -hmm. want to you know that's the minds of the people, right? So the Lord, the Lord has sanctified and made us holy. It tells you in the book of Leviticus. He said, "I have separated you." Uh, uh, Leviticus 20 and uh, 27. We can go back to where the Lord separated Abraham uh, from, his, from his father because they were worshiping the guys on the other side of the exactly, planet. Exactly. Yep. Right? Yep. That's why it always speaks about listen, the book, the table of nations in Genesis, the 10th chapter. Mm -hmm. Where the Lord, we whenever, whenever you hear a Christian, modern day Christian today speak, they always talk about Abraham. Isaac, Isaac Jacob. Jacob. Mm -hmm. Always. Go ahead up, Bible Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Exactly. The pa the, the patriarchs, man. That bring in what the 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 the, 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 the Israelites, man. Yes, sir. Okay. That's all that's all to it. The pedigree. Uh, the pedigree. The pedigree, man. That that beautiful, righteous, pure pedigree, man. Hell, you can read, you can read <clears throat> Matthew the first chapter. Don't they give you the pedigree, the pedigree yep. of Yahweh Shai? Mm -hmm. And guess what they always called him? They called him the son of David because they yep. knew about reincarnation back then. He, was uh, he, yep. could have, he could have been the son. He could have been the son of anybody else during that lineage, but they gave uh -huh. him the name, the, the, the title, the son of David, because they knew he was he was King Solomon. Uh huh. Which cuts that immaculate conception, man. Exactly, my brother. <laughs> Go ahead, man. The so Rock thirty three and verse twelve. I read it in its entirety. It says, "Some of them had he blessed and insulted, and some of them he sanctified and set near himself." Right. But some of them had he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places, man. He cursed and yep. turned low. So, so think about this. So now you have the, the sons of God, the sons of man, the sons of the wicked. The sons mm -hmm. of the wicked, that's that cursed seed as well. So yep. we're telling our people, there's a nation on earth that God hates. There's a nation on earth that God said that he will he will bring punishment to. The Lord said he was sort of pleased with the heathen, but he yep. ain't Esau. Mm -hmm. It's a big difference. So when we tell people that, oh, the Bible says that um, anyone who was profane as Esau, who for yep. one morsel of meat sold his birthright, mm -hmm. he said, though he saw that carefully with tears, there was no place of repentance. That is literally in the Bible. Yep. How can anyone be saved when right there it said there's no place of repentance? So that's us piping unto them like, yo, these Edomites, these are the Edomites of the Bible. Done. These are the people that God hate. These are the people, done, th th these are the descendants of Esau who hated our forefather Jacob. Mm -hmm. And that same hateful, spiteful spirit is inside of them. Exactly. So 14, I'm just going to use this time frame. From 1492 all the way up until now, how the hell have they showed us that they love us? Because love is what? Keeping the commandments. You made us forget who we were. And then mm -hmm. you set yourself up in our place. Really? <laughs> right? So they, so we're telling our people, come out of her before mm -hmm. the before the sword destruction, before the Lord brings his destruction. This is what this will destroy you with the sword destruction. Why? Because mm -hmm. misery loves company. Exactly. Even though he's going down. Well, yep. guess what? I'm gonna take some of y'all mother efforts uh -huh. with me. Hey, exactly, man. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm going down. Who's coming with me, man? Who's coming yeah. with me, man? And like you, and you know, that's beautiful too, man. Can you say, yo, when when did Esau Edom ever love you? Well, you know, he he gives us this. The scriptures say what? That the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel, man. Even the tender mercies, tender mercies. even the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel, man. Come on. Consider the work of Yahweh, man. How can you straighten something that he made crooked? Esau Edom was made to be crooked, to made to be wicked, man. Okay, but two thirds. Come on, man. This is why they're gonna be. Listen, man. Though hands are in the hand, the wicked will not go unpunished, man. They're gonna hold hands with the wicked, and they're gonna what? Burn in this polluted, uh, this polluted land, man. All right. So, I'm a, I'm a. Got any in close out precepts, Doc? Well, um, if you keep reading on all the way up to um, well, I got you. Verse, verse fifteen. I got you. I got you. Beautiful. This is Sirach 33 and verse 13. And it says, as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure. So man is in the hand of him that made him mm -hmm. to render to them as like it him best. So that's going into what? Yahweh Bashim Shai's creations were perfect, man. Okay. Whatever he makes is perfect anyways, man. Okay. Let's continue. <clears throat> oh, this is beautiful right here. Uh, verse 14. Yep. There you go. It says, Good, good is set against evil and life against death. Good is set against evil and life against death. In the book mm -hmm. of Baruch, it said that this it said this law endure forever. And whoever you know cleave on to it, all right, it shall bring you life, but who leave it shall you, die. You will you will you will die. Mm -hmm. So we're telling you, we're piping unto you, yo. Like it says in Isaiah the 30th chapter 20th verse, your, your teacher shall say, come this way. Uh -huh. Come here. The teachers, it's so beautiful. Yahweh shots the head shepherd going mm -hmm. to Hebrews the 13th chapter. So that makes us yeah. the, flock, the sheep. Uh -huh. But Yahweh shy, he, we, listen, we, we would during the time he was on the earth, we were disciples. Because we all we all are still the prophets here, right? Mm -hmm. We were disciples. When he left, we became apostles. So now the, the student has become the teacher. So mm -hmm. we went from being the sheep, which we still going to be the sheep, because he's the head shepherd, to mm -hmm. us being shepherds. It's like he's the president. He had 144,000 vice presidents. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. ambassadors, I should say. Ambassadors, things. Yep. And that's, what, yeah. we're doing. Yeah. And that's, yeah. and that's yep. what we're doing right now. Uh -huh. Right? So we're gathering in the front, the sheep. But, but you have some of those who, who, who don't want to be in the flock, who don't want to be in the sheep, you know? I mean, uh, uh, who don't want to be in the flock with the sheep? All right, the brother dropped something. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I want to. This is uh, this is Jeremiah fourteen and fifteen. It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh concerning the prophets that prophesy <coughs> in my name, and I sent them not. That's going into you know these fake ass pastors, man. Right, 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 right. It says, right. It says yet they say sword and famine shall not be in this land. Which I mean, come on, man. We about listen. Food shortages. All right. The, uh, the farm, the farms, their crops are being burnt. Okay. We're having a, a grain shortage. All types yes, all types of prophecies are proving them wrong, man. Okay. Hey, real quick, real mm -hmm. quick. That's a beautiful precept. By sword and famine shall yep. the prophets be consumed. I just woke up this morning and I saw an article where Biden said, we're closer to Armageddon since 1962. Yeah. 1962. Mm -hmm. That's over half a century ago, he said we're closer to Armageddon because people was talking about using nuclear uh, a nuclear response to the back draw back over there in Ukraine. Green. But see, people don't want people don't want to understand this. Ukraine compared to Russia fighting by themselves should have been crushed months ago. Why why and how are they still fighting? Because the United States. And the UN nations are aiding them. They're yes. sending them yep. weaponry. They sending yep. them money. That's why this mm -hmm. war is still going on. So mm -hmm. why do you think Putin is talking about going nuclear? He ain't just exactly. talking about going nuclear against Ukraine because he ain't got to go nuclear. He's mm -hmm. talking about going nuclear against America and the other countries. Exactly. You don't see that. But once again, in the churches, that's a beautiful precept, Yashashikar. In the churches, they're telling you, oh, sword of famine shall not be in this land. Okay. <laughs> I woke up this morning. I woke up this morning. Oh my God, one. Oh, that's a revelation. I guess uh -huh. I missed that piece up. What? Yep. Come on, yep. man. They sleep, yep. bro. Come and tell you. Yep. They sleep, man, but they claim right. that they woke. Okay, shut up. 
<laughs> oh man, it says, yet they say sword and famine shall not be in this in this land by sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed, man. Okay, they're gonna be consumed by what they what they falsely prophesy should not overtake them, man. Okay. Right. Yep. Get one more. And this is beautiful too. This goes with the lesson. We're, we're, we're piping unto you day in and day out. Second Timothy 4 and 2. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with on long suffering and doctrine. Man, we're crying out, spare not, right? Isaiah 15 and 1. Showing right. Israel their sins, man. They transgression. Say, yo, get your asses back in this truth, or you're going to die. You're going to be put to death. Plain and simple, man. Plain and simple. Back, and coming back to the truth mm -hmm. is what the word converted means. Yep. And, and so, Hold on, with that being said, side note, how the hell can the other nations be grafted into something they never left? Because they were never exactly. a part of them. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you, can finish, you can finish up that Sirach, Baba Gosha. Yeah, let's go back to Sirach. Oh, oh Sirach, as a matter of fact, let me read this, brother. He got some more precepts real quick. I'm going to read these real quick. Second Timothy. Second, yeah, Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. For the time will come when they will oh, yeah. not endure sound doctrine, which mm -hmm. is whole doctrine, sound doctrine, right? But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, lust of what to do what they want. Exactly. Because if they had to do what if they had to do right. what they needed to do, they wouldn't be going after their lust, which is fleshly, which is carnal. Carnal mind is death, right? Mm -hmm. Verse four. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables, lies. Right? So at the end of the day, you're gonna have reprobates. You're gonna mm -hmm. have examples because the scripture says many are born in vain. Well, with that being said, the slain of the Lord shall be many. Oh my gosh, that's you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That, was, that was a spirit. I, hold on, that was Salakia, Salakia, Israel. No, I got you, that, man. Hey, don't apologize to the spirit now if you do. No, that's that's own. beautiful. That's beautiful, man. This is this is that's a spirit. This is Daniel. I'm just getting to the point, man. Daniel 12 and 2, man. <laughs> It says, and many of them that sleep in the dust right. of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt, man. That's right. cool. Yo, how about shit me out with shy is no joke, man. That's it right there. That's it right there, man. Yep. Hey, matter of fact, I'm gonna close our preset right here. Beautiful. This is um first Thessalonians mm -hmm. chapter five, verse one. But of the times and seasons, brethren, mm. you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the mm. night. For when they shall say peace and safety, mm. then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So they're not going to escape. But we will, because we're not the children of the night, we're the children of the yeah, day. Harken unto this, First Thessalonians 5 and 7. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Mm -hmm. And let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for the helmet, the hope, the hope of salvation. Mm -hmm. For God, Yahweh, have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Mashiach, mm. who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. That's the mercy of the Lord. So whether you woke or you sleep, we all still gonna be with him. But listen, those who are woke, put on a breastplate of faith and hope for salvation. Those who sleep, let them be sleep. When that fire hit their ass, they'll wake up, but they'll be wake sleep. up. They'll be sleep. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna wake up. They got fire. Gonna touch it. They gonna be like bust the rhyme. Woo ah, man. That's it, man. <laughs> hey, guess what? Oh, hey, guess what? At that moment, they gonna want to flip mode. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly, man. Hey, it's gonna you caught that. that. In your window. <laughs> hey, speaking of in your window, your house like gonna come through that window like a thief in the night. Thief how about that? Yeah. Exactly. Hey, man. Like you a man. Man. Yeah. What do you have about man? Yeah, he man. gave us, listen, man. He gave us the he gave us the cheat codes, man. He was like, listen, I'm coming. All right. So here's, hey. here's what you gotta do. You know what hey, I'm saying? Uh, uh, yeah. The Robert Hawk with the Robert Hawk with Dash is Bruh. the game shark. It's the game right? shark. Yeah, man. That game GD. <laughs> you got it all, man. Whatever you all right. All right. So I'm gonna end up. 
the book of uh the book of Ezekiel, the second chapter. Yeah, the second chapter. <clears throat> and I'm gonna start at verse one. I'm gonna read down to verse five. And it says, And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the spirit, the Rahwadash, entered into me when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have trans transgressed against me even to this very day, man. For they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send them unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh. And they, the rebellious house, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are rebellious house, yet shall know that there had been a prophet among them. So when the brother said, when that fire come, when Esau come down with great wrath, man, hey, they're going to know that the men of the Lord were out there constantly, constantly warning you, man, blowing that trumpet, sounding the alarm. Okay? Danger is coming. Yahweh Hashim Yahushai is coming, man. He's visiting the earth through upwards of the people that earthquakes in diverse places and wars and rooms of wars, man. All right. So, you got anything else, up? No, that was it. You got it up. All right, Israel. Well, hey, as as the, as the scripture, as the title says, the prophets have piped, but ye have not danced, man. All right. So I play at your edify as a brother will always say, edify and faith, man. Okay. <laughs> pray that y'all will edify. All right. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory. Unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rabbachat Badash. A double honor to the elder apostles. Much respect to the mighty Kabarim and to the Kabarim making videos edification. All right. Um, salutation to the whole family. Let okay. Hey, stay in the spirit, man. Okay, stay in the spirit. All right. Keep praying and repenting, man. All right. And if you are, if you have this wisdom, understanding, continue the pipe. All right. Until the Lord comes. All right. So stay in the spirit, y'all. Stay in that spirit. Uh, yep, as the brother said. All right. Hey, Shalom, Wa Barakatam. Shalom, Shalom.